welcome back to Cinema Outlaws, the B movie edition. We're gonna be talking about Airplane versus Volcano. Now, how's an airplane gonna fight a freaking volcano? Well, it's not actually versus. It's like airplane tries to survive versus volcano, and who's who's man enough to face this volcano? Dean Kane, none other than Superman himself, but he's just some average dude in the passenger seat. And what happens, they go through a, a, a volcano field, and, and they get struck by volcano, the, 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 the pilots get struck by volcano debris, and the, the two pilots get killed off, and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, um, the, the, the air girl who, who serves food, she's like, oh my god, they're both dead! The, the flight attendant. Yeah, and she's like, oh my god, they're both dead! And she goes back, does anyone know how to fly a plane? And, uh, and he's like, and he's like having flashbacks, he's like, because like, he lost his family in a, in a, um, in a, a plane crash, and he's th having flashbacks, he's like, oh my god, I have to do this, I have to save these people. And, and it's totally feels like freaking airplane, like, like you know what I'm talking about, that the, He's like, he's having flashbacks, and he goes up there, and he has to save everyone, and, and uh, being hand on the plane, because what happens is, before the, the, the flight, this is the, let's get into pros, because as, as ludicrous as this movie is, it actually makes, like, a small grain of sense. No, I'm listening up. So before the, the pilots die, he, he puts it into, um, what do you call it? Uh, autopilot, and and, and it, it's stuck in a in a continuous loop around the volcano, and he's like, I gotta like, you know, we gotta figure out how to get this out of like, um, autopilot, and you know, like the chances of that happening are like one in a quadrillion, and uh, maybe a billion, but it it's, it's kind of made sense, and. Another, like, that's, that, that's a pro. Like, it kind of made sense. Another pro is the volcano, the volcano, volcano, the volcano graphics are okay. They're almost plausible. There's this really cool scene where people are on the beach and, uh, like, a smoke cloud, like, covers the beach and everyone turns to ash. That's another plus. And that's where in this movie goes down here. Yeah. Let's get into the cons. The cons. I said it kind of makes sense, but the more this movie goes on, it gets more stupid. Like, first of all, the, no way this plane doesn't get hit by some random rock. Like, you know, they, they show Dean Kane and he's like, he's like, he's like, oh, 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 he's like maneuvering around these rocks. Like that, you would, he's like, he's like, oh, and he, like, he's like the best actor in this movie. But, like, even with his, like, convincing, like, maneuvering, that plane would have warmed up and exploded within 15 minutes. And then, and, and, and then the end, they send in the Air Force and they're like, they're trying to save them and they're dying, like, faster than freaking X Wings at the Death Star. And, and, and just like, at the end of this movie, like, they just gets stupid. It gets really dumb. And I know it's not a solid movie. It's not supposed to make sense. But the first 20 minutes of this movie kind of made sense. But then it plummets into complete retardum. It's just complete retardum. And it just makes no sense. Uh, no one would have survived. They all would have died within the first 20 minutes of the movie. And, and, and the movie goes on for four. 40 minutes too long, and at the end of the movie, when they get the plane and like kind of like jump in and 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 hunch them out with ropes, and, and like I'm like, no, no, that would never happen. So, end result, this movie gets a D, a solid D. Like, it, oh, it, the first 20 minutes, I gave it a C, but then the retard and brought it down. And, and and even like, I almost thought about giving it a D plus for Dean Cain's like decent acting, like good acting. 
think the likelihood of anyone surviving this is would, would be zero. It's just the, the and, and the story like and and just how it played out, just no, totally skipped this movie. You know, it just it just doesn't make any sense. Like you know, I mean, I if the only reason to check this movie it, out is if is if you think Dean Kane is hot or something, and like he's a good looking guy, but that's not like honestly. Other than that, this movie is complete trash. Solid D. That's it for now for Cinema Outlaws. Let me know if you liked it. Let me you saw, if you see it, if you saw it, and you feel like you lost time in your life. That's how I felt because you don't need to see this one. All right. Peace out. See you next time for Cinema Outlaws, the B movie edition. Peace.